Hi guys, Ronnie here, and I am excited for today's video because I get to share with you my latest build. It's not a piece of furniture. It's not even made out of wood. It's made from ones and zeros, digital ones and zeros. It's an app. It's an app called Miter Angle. I built it for woodworkers like you. So let's get to what Miter Angle can do for you. I'll give you a live demonstration on my phone in a minute. And if you want to hear the backstory of how and why I came up with the idea, I'll get to that later in the video. But for now, Here's an overview of MITRE ANGLE. All right guys, let's talk about MITRE ANGLE, the MITRE ANGLE calculator, the app I developed that I am so proud of and pumped. It's gonna make our lives so much easier, our workflow quicker, less, no guessing. I, I was gonna say less guessing, but no guessing. So here's what it does. If you like to work with cross bracing, XNs, it's known, they're known by different names. Uh, let's say you're working on a fence gate cross brace or maybe a farmhouse style table X in, sliding barn door, uh, sliding cabinet door, wherever you have an X that has the angle on the end, as well as the intersection, you wanna know all those angles. Miter angle gives you that, and along with that, it gives you the length of the board you need to use. So here's what you do. You enter the height and the width of the space you're working in. You enter the width of the board you're working with. Gives you all the angles. You select imperial or metric. Yes, I didn't forget about my metric friends. You can do increments all the way down 16th of an inch or one millimeter all the way up 99 feet, 99 meters. It'll do, now, if you pick 99 feet or meters, you gotta promise to send me a pic of that project. That would be awesome to see. But miter angle will do all that for you. It even gives you five different board positions to choose from. So I wanna give you a live demonstration on my phone give you a better overview of what it does, seeing it live, let's get to that. All right guys, I wanna give you a live demonstration now on my phone, I'll put it up on the screen. You can see the miter angle icon there on my phone, just click it, it goes to the splash screen, and then right to the calculator. First thing you wanna do at the top is choose your orientation. Now the orientation is the different board in placements within your space, so you, you see you got your top to bottom, you got corner to corner, side to side, so on, on down. You have five to choose from. I typically go with the uh, top one, the uh, top and bottom edge. Hit set, there you go. You see the little uh, icon there, shows you what you selected. So the next item is your units of measurement. Imperial or metric are both supported. I go with imperial normally. So all you have next is your opening height, width, and board width, that's it. So let's say a typical end table I would build would be 13 and a half inches in height. Set that, the width, um, 11 inches. And the board width, I usually go with one and a half inches here, set. Now I gotta do is hit calculate. And there are the angles. It gives you the miter angles on each angle and the intersection angle, both of those. It also gives you the board lengths pre-cut. You see one foot, five inches and five sixteenths of an inch down to the sixteenth of an inch. Now, this is a math computation, so I suggest going a little longer on your board and feathering your way down to fit it in the space. Then the bottom here, visual representation, it gives you the angles again, A, B, C and D and the exact location of where they're placed on the X. That is it for miter angle calculator. Very simple, but very powerful and effective calculator. Now, if you want to go back, the upper left there, you hit calculator. Goes back, it still has your entries in there if you need to adjust a little bit uh, or you want to change the board orientation. If you want to clear everything out, the bottom left circular arrow there, you just click that and then you're back to zero and you can start all over. So that's it. Simple, but pretty powerful in my opinion. All right, guys, Miter Angle is available on Google Play and the App Store. Links are in the description. Look, I priced it cheaper than a pack of carpenter's pencils, okay? And unlike pencils, it's not going to wear out and need to be replaced. It's going to be there on your phone, ready for you when you hit that next project. I love it. I'm not ashamed to promote it. I built it. I believe in it. It works. It's simple. It's powerful. Go download it. So as far as why and how I came up with Miter Angle, well, it stemmed out of a video on my channel, actually. It's called My First Sale. 
it shows in that video that I failed at the X bracing on how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it in two full pieces, notched out in the middle, fitting together perfectly, right angles, looking great. Didn't work out. I came, I became obsessed from that point on. And so part of the, the requirement to be able to do that is know the angles. Well, I didn't want to have to clamp boards and try to figure out the angles. I knew it was just math and I wanted to figure out a way to make it easy for myself for you guys. So I got together with a developer. We worked out uh, the functionality. We worked out just the simplicity of it. All you have to do is enter three figures and it gives you very accurate angles. I'm very happy with how it turned out. That's pretty much the backstory. All right, guys, the app is called Miter Angle. Again, links are in the description. Go pick yourself a copy up today. It's going to make your work life a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.